God will do the impossible, but you will do the possible. I will say that again. God will do the impossible, but it is your responsibility to do the possible. If it is possible for you to do, God will not do it for you. There are things that God will not do for you. And those are the things that you can do. God knows he has given you the ability to do it. God knows he has provided you with the strategy and the opportunities to do it. And he knows you can do it. You can pray. God won't pray for you. But you can partner with the Holy Spirit and pray. God will not go and ask a lady out for you. Mm -hmm. You think you just sit down in your house and pray and then God would go ask the lady out and then bring the lady to you and say, oh, baby boy, <laughs> come, come and meet your wife. This is the wife I had for you. No, you can do that. You can live a good life, build up boldness and the courage and approach the lady and talk to the lady and try to find out if that's the one for you. God will not do some things for you. Some of those things, why God won't do it is because God won't teach you to become lazy. If not, God will just provide things for us and we sit in our house, cross our legs and pray and then the things just fall, the manna falls inside the house. We we'll just sit in, in our house, cross our legs and pray for the financial miracle and it will rain down in our parlor in, or rain into our bank account. And we are like, oh, thank you so much, Father. And every time you need money, you just pray and then God will make money come into your account. I'm not saying that those miracles do not happen, but that is not the way God wants you to thrive. You cannot thrive that way. You can't help people that way. You can't become all God wants you to become that way. So God doesn't want you to depend on those little miracles. God wants you to be able to receive the power to get wealth. God says, I am the one that gives you the power to get wealth. So it means when God gives you the power to get wealth, you have to go and do it go and get the wealth. You have to go and create. You have to go and do the business. You have to go and do the work. God's part is he provided you with the power. He provided you with the intelligence. He gave you his wisdom. He gave you the creativity for you to create. God will not come and make this video that I'm making today for me. Yeah, I long to make the video. He has given me the idea. He has dropped the thoughts in my heart. He has given me the equipment to use. And I'm like, God, come and do it for me. I can't do it. God wouldn't do that for me. So there are so many things, and that is what I want to talk to you about today, that God will do the impossible. It is your own duty to do what is possible. And that is why you have to believe God for every impossible thing in your life. Remember in the book of Joshua, when Joshua prayed, that prayer does not actually make sense because Joshua was saying, sun, stand still, moon, stand still till he finishes the fight and then God answered his prayer. That was the impossible. But God did not tell Joshua, okay, relax. You guys can relax now. Go and wait somewhere. Let me pick up this fight now because it's already night. Don't worry. Shift one, one way. Let me fight. No. Even when God would send the children of Israel to a fight, he would tell them, I am with you. Do not be afraid of them. God will actually help them, but God wants to participate with them. God can have them be at home and then he goes to fight for them. God tells them, come out. You have to know your part. I will give you another example. When Jesus went to the grave of Lazarus, Jesus knew that he can raise Lazarus. But that was his part because that was a part that people could not do. What did he do? I was expecting that Jesus would just go there and then... Phew, the stone will roll. He told them, roll away the stone. He did not roll the stone for them. And when they rolled away the stone, he do what they could not do, which is Lazarus come out. And Lazarus came out bound. He did not like speak and say, oh, all those things that are binding him should lose on him. Why? Because they can do that one. And they were the ones that used their hands to untie Lazarus. You can see this story in the book of John chapter 11. You realize that in the scripture, it is so consistent of God that the things that we can do, God will not do for us. But the things that we cannot do, God will do for us. So that is why in your life, you have to check your life. Are there things that you're waiting on God and praying to God for God to do for you that you can do? Are there things that are in your disposition to do, but you are expecting God to come down from heaven and do for you? Then you have to wake up and start doing those things. This video may not be for everyone, but it might be for some specific set of people that your mindset has to change. In my life, I'm actually assessing those things. If there are things I need to approach, if there are opportunities I need to 
write and apply and go for i will not expect god to come down from heaven and make the application for me god has given me hands god has given me the wisdom god has made me to be knowledgeable enough even if i don't know how to write i have friends that can do that they can help me so which means god has provided me with everything that i need to push forward in the area that i need to push forward in and i am not perfect in this i am also learning this which is why i'm sharing with you because in this channel what i do is what i learn and what god reveals to me what god shows to me i want to bring it out so that if you have you're not yet there at least this would inform you and help open your eyes and give you a revelation into living the life that god wants you to live so as i was talking about the story of joshua when joshua prayed for the moon and the sun to stand still god did that impossible but then it stood still god did his part and they continued fighting till they fought the enemy and won god did not fight and win the enemy for them now when they asked god for provision god provided manna and the manna came daily but then god did not pick the manna for them inside their house or put it in a bucket for them every morning they had to wake up go out there pick the manna in the morning and it has a time that it ceases it doesn't rain all day there's a time for it it falls in the morning you go pick it up and then save it to eat for the whole day god did not want to teach them to become lazy because god does not want any of his child to be a lazy person even paul when he came to romans chapter 12 verse 11 he says never be lazy but work hard and save the lord enthusiastically never be lazy and this is one thing i need to point out again that patience and waiting on god patiently does not mean laziness there's a big difference between waiting on god and patiently waiting on god and you being lazy waiting on god is not an inactive period of you just sitting down and saying i'm waiting on god what are you doing i'm waiting on god oh what is happening in your life in this period what is changing how are you experiencing god like your mindset in what lessons what things are you learning you have to do something while you're waiting you don't wait in an inactive position and just say i'm waiting on god that's laziness and i'm just going to throw myself out there i'm making youtube videos it's not gaining a lot of traction many people are not watching it like that but i'm still waiting on god for the people that need the video to see the video i'm investing into it yes i am doing all of that waiting on god for god to breathe on it for people that need to hear the voice to hear my voice because i know that it's not everybody that are meant to hear my voice but the people that are meant to hear my voice and hear the message god has given me would hear the message and receive the message and appreciate the message even but then it is not meant for everyone but does that mean because i'm waiting on god i should wait to okay tell god when you are ready to bring the people then i will start creating videos no i have to create videos and then God sees that I am consistent. God can trust my heart. I will do a video on that because there was a revelation of God that God trusted Adam with a job of naming the animals before he allowed him to even be trusted with a wife. I will make another video on that, how God can trust your heart, how God can trust you that you can do his will, that you walk according to his will. So sometimes God will allow you to start something and start it very small and then not even let you see the sign of it becoming big because god is training you on being consistent and working hard and not being lazy but one thing god will not do to you is to make you walk and toil for nothing that's why when he made the disciples toiling all night for nothing he told them cast your net at the right side have you caught anything that's compassion they said nothing lord he said don't worry i know what to do cast the net on the right side so whatever you're doing with your life you have to trust god that god will do the impossible but it is your prerogative to do what is possible god won't do what is possible for you don't mistake patience for laziness because it could easily be mistaken there are so many scriptures that back this idea up that god will not do what you can do for you god would only do what you cannot do for you and that is why check your life so that you'll not be in an ungrateful place if there are things god has given you the ability to do go ahead and do them stop waiting just get moving 
and then see what God can do through those things that he has given you the ability to do and see how he will open the impossible doors for you and make everything come to pass in your life. And I pray for you and myself that everything God has for us, as we step into the things that he has given us the ability to do, he will open the doors that we cannot open on our own. In Jesus' name, amen. I am Uwem. Thank you for watching today's video. Do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel and then watch the next video. Thank you and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.